The past week has been decisive in many ways for Ukraine and Zelensky, who arrived in the United States to convince allies to allow him to strike deep into the cave with long-range missiles. But his victory plan was disappointing. Many experts called it a repackaging of requests for military and financial assistance and did not find any strategic vision for further actions. However, Biden said that the United States was allocating $8 billion in aid, and at a meeting with Zelensky, he confirmed that he would continue to support Ukraine in its fight for independence. The new aid package announced by Biden includes the first U.S. deliveries to Kyiv of high-precision guided bombs launched from F-16 combat aircraft, an additional air defense battery and more Patriot missiles, as well as expanded American training for Ukrainian F-16 pilots. Kamala Harris, having met with Zelensky, lashed out at Trump, who is completely mired in Putin's narratives, demanding to withdraw from the war and leave Kyiv to be torn apart by Moscow. Nothing about ending this war can be decided without Ukraine, Harris said, turning to Zelensky, but I want to tell you frankly that there are those in my country who are prepared to force Ukraine to give up much of its sovereign territory instead. Those who demand that Ukraine agree to neutrality and that it abandon its security cooperation with other states. This is what Putin is proposing. And let's be clear, these are not proposals for peace. These are proposals for capitulation. This is dangerous and unacceptable. Trump, sensing the loss of political points, immediately announced his readiness to meet with Zelensky on Friday morning, although the day before his headquarters mumbled that such a meeting was not planned, and even the Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives, Trumpist Mike Johnson, said that he was extremely busy for such a meeting. Meanwhile, the Russians are bombing Odessa and advancing like meat in the area of Ugledar, Solidovo near Pokrovsk and in some other areas of the front. The Rashists have also become more active in the Zaporia direction, hinting that the offensive could resume with renewed vigor. Meanwhile, Putin has growled about tightening the nuclear doctrine, threatening to use nuclear weapons against a non-nuclear state, and if any other country helps Ukraine, the Kremlin will consider it involved in the war against Russia. The rat is drawing brown lines, fearing long-range missile strikes deep into the cave. The lads are saving their power in the backyard, which will collapse if storm shadow starts hitting Alabino and Kubinka, Ostankino and the Ministry of Defense on Frungenskaya. Putin's brigade is old in the Brezhnev style, and the young backyard shoots, seasoned in backyard and office dirty tricks, are hot on its heels. Nevertheless, 75-year-old Matvienko was reappointed as the head of the Federation Council, 72-year-old Bortnikov continues to head the FSB, 71-year-old Bastrykin remains the head of the investigative committee. Each of them, including Putin, is a superstar, but cannot imagine himself outside of power, and will not leave it so easily. Especially against the backdrop of the criminal war they have unleashed. Therefore, the nuclear argument is the last thing they have. By engaging the West in psychological disputes about the properties of psychopaths, the Kremlin is winning time, continuing to play the long game and keep the enemy on edge. As a result, no changes in Washington's position on the use of long-range missiles were announced, and this happened less than a day after Putin waved the nuclear card from the Kremlin table. According to US intelligence, in response to long-range missile strikes, Putlow may carry out sabotage in Europe and attack American and European military bases. All these concerns are voiced against the backdrop of the developing conflict in the Middle East, which is already being called a war. Israel is ironing out Hezbollah facilities, destroying weapons depots and high-ranking figures of the terrorist organization, and is already getting very close to Nasrallah himself. In Israel, they are talking about the inevitability of a ground operation in Lebanon. At the same time, diplomatic efforts during the UN General Assembly did not lead to a truce. Tensions are also growing in the eastern direction, where a Japanese warship passed through the Taiwan Strait separating China and Taiwan for the first time in many years. This caused an angry reaction from Beijing, which sent a note of protest to Tokyo on this matter. China conducted a training launch of an intercontinental missile capable of hitting U.S. territory. In short, 
The degree is rising in a textbook way everything as they taught in the Soviet General Staff Academies and higher schools of the KGB. The Sovkofotheks are bringing the situation to a nuclear point, so that they can then suddenly jump back and squeal that they have nothing to do with it. In the meantime, the gutter thugs will bend their fingers and keep up appearances until November 5.